Here I've set up just a little demonstration to explain the corner windows because I've had some requests about how they work. Uh, so we've just got a, a standard wall here and I've just duplicated this a few times to show different scenarios. So I'll show what they look like in 3D just so you can see what we're trying to create. So we're starting with something that's very simple, no window, and then we're looking at different types of corner windows and how they could work. And as you can see, they're getting progressively more complex with each one. Back to the start. So to create a corner window, we're using the corner window tool. So when we see when we go into the corner window, we can use basically any of the standard windows that we have. It just takes us to the, the window library, but it's creating it as a corner window. We can see that it's mitered on the edge. When we place the corner window, so let's put this into this blank wall now. We have to choose, in this case we want to face it out. And it automatically places the second one for us, so it creates that corner. What's the problem with this? It, it doesn't have actual glass in the middle. So it's taking out the corner column. We don't have a continuation of our brick in the corner. So that's what it means by a corner window. But it's pretty bulky. So when we're looking at this, because there's a, a frame, a window frame, and then a sash frame, the corner's not very clean or not very um, minimal. It's still pretty fat. So what we could do is instead of using a openable window, we could use a fixed window, and that would mean that we don't have a sash frame. So that would be a bit cleaner, that's what we see in this option here. But it's still the same process, so if we select this and delete it, redraw it, that's what we get. What could we do to make it maybe more of what we might understand as a corner window? If we were trying to create a, a real corner window where the glass is in the middle, the easiest way to do that is to custom make a window. One way we can do that is by creating it maybe out of a slab. So in this case, what I'm doing is using frameless glass to create a corner. I used a corner window with an empty rectangular opening. So same process, but with a rectangular opening to create the corner junction and then using a standard window which is set back. So what this looks like is that we actually get to see glass in the corner. So when most people are talking about corner windows, that's what they really want to see. In order to make that, we don't have an ARCHICAD object that allows us to do the glass in the corner very well. They all have frames in the corner. So this option or a custom window, because we can turn this into a custom window, allows us to have no frame at all. And then finally, if we were trying to make this look even better, we could just start to add some more detail around the outside of that. So I've just used some slabs to create a sill. So this sill or this box wraps around the outside and this is just created out of slabs, slab, slab, slab. So again, this is the sort of detailing that we'd expect to see on a, on a modern uh, corner window. Interestingly, um, Corner windows aren't really a new thing. We see a lot of corner windows in, in older style of houses. So we need to, we can't rely on having a corner window to try to make something look interesting or new. So we need to make sure that the, the style matches what we're trying to do and the materiality is uh, appropriate. Now we should be really thoughtful about using corner windows. They might look sexy, they might um, be fun, but creating a lintel above particularly a brick wall requires that this lintel is going to cantilever from here or maybe from here if we're very clever and manage to and hide a column in here but this is going to be a welded cornered lintel and it's incredibly complicated and much more expensive than a standard window so we we sort of really need to justify why we'd want to create this not to steal away your fun so that's how we create it in archicad and a little bit of the um, construction understanding behind it as well